let us take one example where we shall show you that how the tokens are getting registered by the lexical analyzer and what are the processes. See, let us suppose this is the series of tokens which a lexical analyzer can recognize. So, this is the respective code and this is the value. So, if it recognizes uh, begin, if the lexic lexical analyzer recognizes begin, then the code will be 1, value is void, end 2, if 3, then 4, else 5. If it recognizes an identifier or if it recognizes one constant, then it will be treated as 6 and 7 respectively in the order and it will be registered onto the symbol table, which we discussed in our earlier videos also. That means, if it recognizes one variable or say identifier, then it will be registered on the symbol table. So, pointed to the symbol table will be the value uh, will be written here and pointed to the symbol table will be written here. These are the relational operators, these are the relational operators. So, less than 8 1, less than equal to 8 2. So, whenever I am getting 8 as code, the value 8 as code, then it indicates that it is nothing but recognized token is nothing but one relational operator. So, equal to 8 3, not equal to, this is not equal to 8 4, greater than 8 5, greater than equal to 8 6. So, we have considered almost all relational operators. So, let me draw the respective transition diagrams here. See, so start, we have made this one deterministic. So, now start state 0, B, E, G, I, N and after that if I get any blank or new line as a delimiter, then 6 will be the final state, 6 will be the final state and return 1. Why return 1? Because begin means I shall be returning 1. So, that will be the code value. So, return 1. So, it will be coming like this. Now, what about this star? Start to indicate states on which we use a procedure retract. In our earlier videos, we have, uh, we have discussed that there will be one input buffer and the pointer will be the token beginning pointer and another pointer will be going in front and then in this case, in this case what will happen? Uh, when it will get a delimiter, then it should retract and then from this beginning of this token and this particular uh, look ahead pointer in between, it will try to find one token, it will try to analyze one token. So, this star will indicate that in this particular state, it must be doing the retract operation. E N D blank or new line as a delimiter start and then return 2 because the end will return the value code 2. Okay. E L A C same thing return 5. So, 5 is already returned as else. So, in this way, if we proceed I F then blank or new line return 3 because if we should return 3 here. So, accordingly, what about the uh, token recognizing the table is there. So, we have double up this transition diagram accordingly. Now, see from start T H E N blank or new line return 4 because then should be having the value 4 here. So, now for the identifier start letter, letter or digit in our earlier video we have discussed this one in more elaborative way. So, letter, letter or digit and so, it will go for the state 24 is having a self loop and then not, uh, not a letter, not a letter or not letter or digit, then it will go to 6 and install. So, 6 and install, install will return the, install will write the symbol table, write this particular identifier in the symbol table and it, it will return the address of that uh, record entry. Now, constant digit, constant can be of single digit or multiple digits. So, digit or digits, so self loop, not digit. So, go for return 7 install. So, accordingly it is working according to this table. So, now these are relational operators. We are having less than equal to, so less than equal to 8 2. So, return 8 2. This is not equal to, so return 8 4. Let me check, not equal to return 8 4. And if it is not equal to or not greater than, then it is only this less than, then return 8 1. Similarly, only for equal to return 8 3, only for equal to it is 8 3. So, only for equal to it is return 8 3. Now, greater than and greater than equal to. So, greater than equal to return 8 6, 
greater than and it, if it is not equal to then it will be treated as a delimiter then this one so in this way it will be working so you see not not this that means I have proceeded for one character then I should come back so retract will be required here retract will be required here in this way it is there working okay so retract will be uh, retract will be required here retract will be required here so star has been put in this way you see relational operators this is the constant this is the transition diagram for constant transition diagram for identifiers transition diagram for the keywords in this way there is a list of token recognized and the respective transition diagrams and you know in our previous video we have shown you that from the transition diagram how to write the sample program code so how this lexical analyzer will have the sample code you are getting the idea and in the next video we will be going for the lex program how to write a lex program what is the syntax what are the sections are there so that uh, video will be also in the continuation of this particular topic. Please watch those videos also. Thanks for watching this one.